Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're Monday, May 13th, 2024. We're here to do a collective read for you guys. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Again, thank you for the Mother's Day wishes. I truly appreciate it. Um, I hope you all had a good Mother's Day, no matter if you're a mother or not. Uh, we're all somebody's child or children. And if uh, your mother's not around, hopefully you had a great day anyways, okay? In, in memory of your mother, if you had not such a great relationship with your mom, you take that day to pamper yourself, okay? You know I don't use the signs and I don't use the genders and it's a timeless read. It's because it's energy, that's all it is, okay? So if this is your reading, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline, so take what applies. Toss the rest, okay? It's not advisable to hang on to things that don't resonate, don't belong in your life. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the genders and or the roles throughout the read, go right ahead. That is not a problem. But like I said, it is a general reading. There's thousands of people here, thousands of different energies. Not every read's going to be for you. And if you find it is your reading, it's very rare that all of it will resonate. So the parts that don't resonate, that simply means it's not for you. Leave it alone. It's not advisable to put it into your storyline. You're just going to bring more stress, more angst into your world. Okay, so... Please use your higher wisdom and discernment. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some, one, and or none, as I said. And then we bring it together at the end. If you haven't done so already, please uh, subscribe. Hit, join this beautiful soul tribe. I'd be truly grateful. Please hit the like button as well. Please, please, please. I'd really be grateful for that as well. So thank you for my family that's been here. I love you. Thank you for sharing uh, your stories with me. I'm honored. Thank you for all the love and the support you show me. I am truly honored, just so you know. I love you guys. You're my family. Uh, let's see what Spirit has. I do have a quick message. <laughs> oh, Spirit were telling me this morning that some people are stuck in their own muck. <laughs> um, they keep trying. I don't know. They must be bozos. Yeah. Going up against God. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Give it up already. <laughs> Let's see what spirit has, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. What's the message here? So, yeah, mental conflict. No more mental conflict here. If they were doing any kind of mental conflict spells towards you, it's over. Okay. Two. That's the high priestess. Secrets are out. Secrets are coming out. Or they have to start speaking the truth. Okay. They could have been doing some magic towards you because that's a high priestess in reverse. Um, really talking badly about you. That's the overarching energy. Bottom of the deck, we have wisdom. You're too wise for these people. Or it's the wisdom, the, the divine's wisdom. Five, that's a higher power. That's the hierophant. Hmm. Could be a family you're dealing with. Could be institutions, contract, a marriage. Belief system. Somebody might want forgiveness. There's a book here. They have to go buy the book. That's what I just heard. Or they're going to get the book thrown at them. Whatever. Yeah, something stopped here. Whew. Sudden. Accelerated motion. No more. It's a backfire. Uh-oh. Wah, wah, wah. It's bad news. No communication. Can't move forward. This is they were trying to block your wisdom and your mentals here. You're too smart for them. That's why. Yeah, it's a waiting game. You waited it out. You, you knew it. I, I think it's a family here. It's a tree with roots. Uh, they're chasing their tail. They're chasing tail. They're going round and round in circles here. But maybe you kept going. Maybe they kept doing this over and over again, not learning a lesson. But you, it helped you elevate, okay? Helped sink them, I think. The time is of the essence here. Another two, your high, your high priest is male or female or high priest, okay? You, you have a great deal of intuition. You don't say much. You observe not talking to them. I was also hearing, you know, I've said this before in other reads, whoever this is, if you're dealing with family or an ex or something like that or a nice friend, they must come to you and tell you the truth. They must find the the, the courage, because they're cowardly, they're craven, to come to you and tell you the truth. It's not up to you to, to, to approach them. They did horrible things. They said horrible things. They have to do what's right. It was a waiting game, right? Now there's no more obstacles, okay? They can't put obstacles in your way. No more challenges. They broke the laws. A dark high priest or priestess doing energy manipulation. Uh, it could be a divorce or separation. Bad, bad advice. They didn't listen to advice. 
you could have been like me. I've been giving people warnings. Stop what you're doing. They don't want to hear it. They broke this bridge. And it's not up to you to repair it. It's not up to you to go reach out and try to repair it. They broke it. That's it. Okay? You can't go any further. Yeah, it's a family. Foundation and achievements. You're stable and secure. Could have something to do with property, um, a home, business, stability. Think, yeah. They could have stolen or wanted it or something like that. Yes. Yeah, no, no triumph here. They've been stopped. Could have lost their car. This is a chariot in reverse. They didn't want to take accountability. They can't overcome the way you can. Um, no direction, structure, or discipline in, in, in their lives. They've been stopped. It's not going anywhere what they're doing here. Out of control. Crazy train, yeah. They're trying to block your sacral chakra, but I think they blocked their set, theirs, their intuition. Two in reverse, yeah, doing magic. Trying to bind you, block you, whatever they're trying to do, but you're, you're moving forward here. Eight. You have a lot of control, power. This is integrity, loyalty, or honesty. This is a resilience, courage, bravery, positive movement forward. So you're moving forward no matter what they're doing to you. It's smooth sailing for you. could also mean that your ships are coming in. Congratulations. Somebody wanted to control you. Uh, they thought if they can block your chakras, your creativity, your intuition, they can control you. They could be on the run. Yeah. Partnerships and alliances. To, yeah. They don't want you... Your ship's coming in. They don't want you meeting up with somebody. Maybe your twin. I don't know. This is a divine feminine energy three. You could be a divine feminine. Could be a mother. Could be a pregnancy. They partnered up with somebody here to do this towards you, or you're coming into a partnership with somebody. Yeah, they they don't want you having recognition or reward. This this is the Empress in reverse. They wanted power or control over you. A power of attorney. If this is the inheritance thing, this is chaotic energy. They wanted to devalue you. They wanted your life to be chaotic, but it's them. They're karmic here, okay? They don't want you to come into your own material and spiritual prosperity. There you are, okay? You're coming into a higher level soulmate. This is the lovers. They wanted to disempower you. They're scared here, okay? They're scared. They went up against the divine. If you're a divine being, the fight's not with you. Vengeance is his. They went up against the divine and his power. They're ineffectual, obviously. You're moving. You make good choices. You make good decisions. You're dealing with money, marriage, or relationships, and family, right? You're planting seeds. They're now growing. Material harvest. I can't make this up, okay? And they were trying to stop this. Well, that's just too bad. You are the empress. I can't make this up. You're using your intuition. Highly intuitive. High priestess. Empress. Divine feminine. High priestess. You have the authority. You, Your divine masculine is coming in. It is in your ending cycles to begin a new one. I can't make this up. Somebody had to play catch up here. Go with them and do that work. There's an investigation. They can't deceive you or... You know what I mean? They were full of envy. They didn't want you having new beginnings. It, what it is is they were reckless. Okay? They were careless and foolish. They're not having a new beginning. They thought you were naive. Okay, your kindness was weakness. It's not. This is a tower for them because you are you are co-creating with the divine. You're manifesting like crazy. You have all the tools you need. This is the magician, okay? Purpose, power, focus, control. You're coming into a spiritual union. And this is disastrous for somebody. Fallen angel. Oh, look at this. And devil. They're in their emotions here. They're not really crying over an emotional loss here. They don't have emotions, okay? It was just they wanted something from you, okay? Obviously, they tried to possibly sacrifice a divine being. They wanted your spiritual inheritance or your gifts, and you're moving on. Passions ignited. Congratulations. <laughs> they wanted your destiny. They ain't going to get it, okay? They're getting karma instead. I like them apples. Yep, they've been stopped in their tracks here. They're stuck in their own muck, like Spirit said. Congratulations. Going up against the divine, not so smart. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they do. Oh, I don't know. I can't say that. So we have mental conflict in reverse. You're not conflicted at all. And or this could be your twin or your kingdom spouse or your higher level soulmate that's no longer mentally conflicted. They could have been sending ma magic or conflict spells to towards them. To not, yeah, somebody's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Be careful, okay? But you're going to spot it, I think. Yeah, you're, you're heavy duty protected. Somebody's on the run. 
the running towards you. I don't know what this means. It's a girl fight at the bottom of the deck. Arguments, physical fight at war, competition. So somebody was, this is a doppelganger. We did see the Empress in reverse, and that can, can mean uh, a doppelganger trying to pass, pass themselves off as you. Trying to be you. They hate you. Something about child services, kids at a risk of being taken or is about to, reporting something, neglect and abuse. So there's children involved, or maybe they were using children to, you know what I mean? Give to the devil, you know what I'm saying, right? Fake accounts, or they accused you of it. Fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We went through this yesterday, yeah. They're, caught, they're trying to block you. They're, they're coming up. They're going to have some legal issues because I don't lie. These people that have been trying to block my channel, constantly shadow banning. Look at my numbers. I've been doing this for two and a half years, okay? Look at the numbers. It's been constant. And that's fine. My father provides for me. They're not hurting me. They're hurting themselves. They're going to find some legal issues because when you try to defame somebody, block their business, take their money away, drive their customers away, you can sue. And they're going to be in court for the rest of their lives because they're going to make sure of it. They're not going to get out of it. Court judges, immigration lawyers. So lawyers and judges could be involved, and they're trying to threaten you, like I said yesterday. Intimidating, threatening, and bothered. They're looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. I know in my situation, they were trying to find some dirt on me. They can't. I was good clean. They didn't like it. Dust it off, okay? Because whenever they look you up in certain places, you get the notifications that somebody's looking you up. They're stupid. I know exactly who's lo looking me up. It's a stalker. Dust it off. Travel's involved here. You're shining. Your light irritates their demons, right? They want to travel towards you or they're traveling right now. A divination abuser. Their haunted memories. Flashbacks. Trauma side effects. The inside scoop. They're being nose nosy. Closer look nosy up in your business. They want to know if you're moving. Where are you going? This is jackpot, okay? They want to move towards you, I think, because winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money's coming in towards you. Okay, it's the inheritance that's coming towards you. Somebody's into you. They're always partying. It's a groupie and a thief. You dodge major bullets by ignoring these assholes. I'm picking up. It's a narcissist that wants you back. You could have been dealing with an... I think you're dealing with a, a whack full of narcissists. But uh, there's one r relationship here. They want you back. Um, not a hope in hell. Okay, if you're wondering. Okay. In my situation, if you're wondering if I'll ever take you back, Narc, absolutely not. Hell no. Fuck no. Stay in your lane. Not interested. Why would I want to take that back? So, mental conflict in reverse, number two, wolf in sheep's clothing. An apology. Be careful. Wolf in sheep's clothing, right? They want to control you. Bottom of the deck, conflict, difference, disputation, and quarrel. They want you to fight with them. Or they're fighting with their coven, their clique, their their um, cult, secret society. There's a lot of conflict. They wanted you to fight over them, com compete for them. Yeah, it's a third will that wants to fight with you. <laughs> Get a life. If you don't mind your partner sleeping around, getting you in third parties, then that's up to you. Stop, okay? Not everybody's like that. This is an idea. Oh, yeah, I got a... a Good idea here. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's play puppet. No, I don't think so. Somebody's ill, disease, weakness, fragility. They could have said you're mentally unstable. There's a promise here, responsible confirmation assurance. Oh, yeah, narc making promises. <laughs> yeah, they're going through withdrawals. That's why. Quit awakening and rejection. You're rejecting them. But it was an accident. I fell in love with all those people, and I tried to kill you, and I... Defamed your, your character. That was all by accident. No, they wanted you to have an accident. Danger, caution, injury. I think it bounced back on them. I know a couple of them had an accident. They could be homeless right now. They wanted you homeless or they claimed you were homeless. Failure, cast away, poor. Yeah, you're too poor for them. Oh, let's see. Am I too poor for you now? Huh? <laughs> Justice is here. Equal, equality, neutrality, logic. They wanted you poor and homeless so they can get away with whatever they were saying about you. You'd be too busy struggling to live every day, every minute of every day, so you wouldn't notice them stealing from you, right? But justice is here because you had a lot, nothing but self-love here, okay? Congratulations. You're an introvert. 
privacy separate online community. So you could be part of an online community and they're trying to find information about you. This couple, it's probably this couple, they can't find jack shit. They're lonely in a relationship, but you're not, even though you're alone. I'm never alone. I think I proved that. Dullness, disappointment, isolation. They wanted you in isolation. Put you on a shelf, reserve you. Daydreaming about one day I'm going to have this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. They wanted to save you. They knew that you were a sweetheart, but I think they got somebody else pregnant. Or they were pregnant with all these ideas. I'm just going to put them on the shelf while I'm screwing around doing all kinds of things. Using your money. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, saving you. They want to put you on a shelf while they go out off and have an adventure. So fucking prideful, these people. Yeah, wearing a mask. Third will. Oh, let's go blow their money and have adventures in the world. Yeah, let's see how that's going to work out there again. Damn, damn, damn. You know, what you put out in life is what you're going to get back, but even more. This is the time for karma. These people don't, I don't know, can't be very smart. No self preservation. Suppose they're doppelganger trying to pose themselves as you, divine feminines. You could be a male in divine feminine energy, by the way, okay? Bottom of the deck, protected. You're highly protected. And that's where the conflict is laying. And you tell me this is going to work. You tell me I can be them. I can have their spiritual gifts and their inheritance. You told me. <clears throat> They're damaged. <laughs> yeah, your abundance is coming in. So they cause so much damage in your world that can never come back and partake of this abundance. This is a copycat. I told you. Spying on you. They have a grudge. Comparing is a thief of joy. I keep saying that. There's no comparison, okay? You're a karmic, and that's a divine being. No comparison. So they slander you, spread rumors, gossip. See you in court. Let me bust up. This could be a boss. Yeah, you're going to be bossing up soon here because your inheritance is coming through. Can't make it up. Now they're tempted. They're tempted. They're in denial. They're going to be denial, denied. You're going to say, no, get the fuck away from me. Parents, step parents involved here. Somebody's a player. Huge losses. Playing games. So all these games only made you lose. You're coming out of this even with less than when you started this bullshit. Ugh. <laughs> cover up. Now they're trying to cover up, right? Divorce separation. This is a false marriage. And I know about this false marriage. Somebody was very, very petty and cruel. You could be a tarot reader, reader. They're a tarot reader. There's a lot of people involved here. They could have gotten tarot readers involved and or they're using tarot readings to find out about you. And nah, nah, nah. that's going against universal laws. Relocate or move. They want to know if you moved or relocating, if you're unemployed or not. They're unemployed. They have to move. They're toxic and they're karmic. So you're coming into victory and success. Now they want to break up with the karmic, whoever this is, or break up this group and come back to you. It's their funeral. Okay, I'm only here to get mine. So, if, or it's yours if you take them back. Okay, custody child support is involved. They could, could have accused you of calling custody, or I don't know somebody that you were dealing with. Somebody wants custody and child support. It's a friend of me. They got involved with custody and child support. I know exactly who that is in my life. Somebody's a parent here. Your parent accusations. They made accusations about you. Somebody's very conceited. You go. They're in fear right now. Okay. Let it be. Let it be. Let it play out. Okay? There's no point in getting angry. Yeah. I'm allowed to get angry, by the way. For those who commented, oh, you sound angry. Yeah, I'm allowed to get angry. Okay? I'm a human being. I have uh, different e emotions. Mm, what's it to you? <laughs> Remember, Jesus got angry, too. He tipped over those tables. He got angry a lot, by the way. He just didn't know it. They didn't talk about it in the Bible. Oh, yeah. What's mental conflict in reverse? Wolf in sheep's clothing. Apology 71. Poser and doppelganger. So 71's an 8. What's an 8 on its side? It's the infinity symbol, right? What you give out, what you put out, you get back. So somebody got hit with some karma. I know they did last night. They got hit bad. I love my, my beautiful spirit team. 
Those angels are on it, I'll tell you. Those are in doppelganger. What's the message? When you try to get in, when you try to involve yourself and block someone's calling when they're in service to the divine, that is a big nana. You'd get hit hard. And yes, I got angry. It's a righteous anger. Okay, look at that. Jesus got mad, tipped over those tables, right? It was righteous. He was defending his father, our father, okay? Your father. These people, they don't look at uh, God as their father. They look at all stinky as the one, right? They can stay with all stinky. And find out just how hard <laughs> uh, life is going to get on them. They made this choice, okay? We've been here warning them as readers. There's um, spiritual leaders out there warning people. There's all kinds of people warning them. They don't want to listen. They think they're bigger, more powerful than the divine because they go behind closed doors like the cowards that they are and do spell work and they lie to your face and they steal and they think it's funny they laugh at your pain and they defame you and they think it's funny that they're getting away with shit you're not <laughs> thank you spirit this is them crying, moping, pouting left out in the cold rejected, abandoned abandoned yeah, how's it go again? I, can't, I never remember. Ban abandon all hope? Yeah, I can't remember. Anyways. They're feeling sorry for themselves now. They got hit. Yeah, there's this ruin. This overarching energy is a tower in reverse. They were trying so hard to avoid this tower. You can't avoid it, okay? Nah. With this magic, with their bullshit, with their jealousy, with their abuse, their hate. Someone's a hoe bag. Yes, they are. See, look. I'm telling you, they're getting some karma. They're worried. They're under a lot of stress and burdens here. They're getting hounded by what they put out. Okay, see those bats? So their own crew is turning on them, I believe. They're regretting and they're grieving and regretting. Usually the five of cups, you'll see two cups sit behind the person, meaning that there's still a, a relationship there. There's still a connection. Five cups are all on their own, tipped over. There's no more connection. They, they, they broke that bridge. giving and receiving with others, prioritizing others. Now they want to make make amends. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. They could have been getting paid to do this spell work or paying others to do this spell work. You know what I mean? Or lying about you or defaming you or harassing you. You know what I mean? Cyberbullying you. You don't look too good here. They could have called you a whore. They could have said you were doing magic. It's all bullshit. Yeah, left out in the cold, feeling sorry for themselves. Can't make it up. Five of Cups, Four of Cups. So they're digressing. Because <laughs> you're the Empress. They can't be an Empress. Male or female, doesn't matter. They can't be a divine being. <sighs> I your bozos. Yeah. They wanted to be you so very badly. But they're being exposed, publicly humiliated. It's a, it's a fail. It's an epic fail, Okay. They're trying to hide you from being seen. Maybe you're on a platform or something. or I don't know. They're just trying to hide you. So, not, so they could be you. Okay? They think they're, they could be you better than you. That's how screwed up they are. I could be a better divine feminine than you. Yeah, you're going into a, a, a partnership or something. A higher level partnership. Your twin's coming in fast. Holy crap. Could be military. Could be police, I just heard. Or something like that. Dealing with the law. And this is a fail for them. Damn. So something's happening quickly here. You made the right choices. You've ascended. Both of you have ascended. Congratulations. Something's coming in quick. Empress in the upright. Two of cups in the upright. Lovers in the upright. Knight of swords in the upright. Where are we going with this? It's beautiful. Yeah, somebody's angry about that. Oh, yeah. too bad. Somebody bit off more than they can chew. Well, they didn't do the noble thing. They didn't have any, didn't operate with morals, ethics, and or honor. It was all about their ego. Me, 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 me. They're very arrogant, um, cowardly, envious, 
They want power and control, but they can't control themselves or their loins as opposed to player energy, male or female, doesn't matter. And they're angry now because they got caught lying. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander about you, and none of it stuck. Well, maybe what they said about you was what they were doing, but they're stalking you. They're angry. It's pettiness. It's cruelty. It's bullying. Cyberbullying. Um, this is self-sabotage, if you ask me. They self-sabotage themselves by targeting you. This is law and order. King of Swords. Somebody knows the truth here. Could be law and order, could be a professional, could be you, could be someone else. Male, female, doesn't matter. You have the sort of truth. You're not afraid to wield it. Could be Archangel Michael. There's a book yet again. There's something about a book. The truth is they tried to steal from you or stop your money or have you miss an opportunity. These are opportunists, opportunists and they're heartbroken. They could be in debt. They're very unstable. I know I had a dream last night. But the people that were responsible in stealing my inheritance, or tried to, approached me in my dream. They wouldn't come out and say it, that they stole from me, and they did that. They did spell work. I said, why are you here? And they said, you know why. Like, really, you know, like, yeah, you know why. And I said, oh, okay, so what next? And they go, there's four people. There's probably more involved. I know there is. But they go, well, okay, if, and they brought out a calculator. If we did this and gave you this much per month, we'll be paid off and you'll have what we took and we can go free, right? And I'm thinking to myself, well, what about the interest? What about the dividends? What about all the pain and the suffering? You think you're going to walk away from this if you start paying me? What if you stop paying me? You know what I mean? King of Swords. So somebody's coming in quick. Oh, yeah. They broke the law. They know somebody broke the law. Divorce or separation. Uh, dark high priest, possibly. Doing energy manipulation. They don't believe. They have no faith. Lying, cheating, and or stealing. So you could be speaking about this, or this could be somebody in law and order that was doing some magic. I can't make this up. A lot of deception, illusions, manipulations, devil. They were doing heavy duty magic constantly. Damn. They're bound to the devil now. Yes, yeah, this, this is a narcissist. Big time nar nar narcissist or sociopath or psychopath. This is wanting power and control. But by doing this, they lost power and control. They gave their power away to the devil. Okay? Very karmic, very toxic. Stay away from them, okay? They're power hungry, controlling. It's a it's a crooked leader, a tyrant, a bully. Um, they abuse their power and their authority. It's corrupt, okay? Um, they bend to public pressure. It's all about their image and what money can buy. Yeah, they're they know they're going to be arrested. They know that they got caught. They're shit and bricks. Typically, I'd say it's love, King of Cups in the upright, male or female, but. I don't think this is love. I think they're very nervous. Before I started this read, my, my tummy was feeling nervous. I know that's not my energy. I'm not nervous. I've got nothing to be nervous about. So I know somebody wants to approach me. They got to let this go or you let them go. Somebody let someone go here, okay? They're shitting bricks, though. They're bricking it. Oh, dear. So we have the magician in the reverse. Dark High Priest, right? Lying, cheating, and or stealing. Doing magic. Stealing energy. Stealing spiritual gifts or inheritances. Maybe they've done it before, over and over again. That's how they made their money throughout. Yeah. They have to take accountability. They're trying to slow down your money. Hmm. They want you to walk away from something. Or you did walk away from this person or persons. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Um, out of the deck, out of the four nights, this is the slowest moving night, but it's the only one that makes it to the end. This one's careful. They have integrity, okay? You can rely on them, depend upon them. They wanted you to, pe to depend upon them, to commit to them so they can use your energy or something like that. But you walked away. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness. You let go. You gave up. And they're angry at you. Yeah, you ended it. It's ending a cycle. You could be, they can't block you. Maybe they're, 
this person's emotionally distant. Okay, they have no emotions, obviously. Okay, but you could be online. This is victory. Okay, this is you're heavy, heavily protected, and they're trying to block you online if you're online, or you ended this cycle. You're going into a new cycle. You could be traveling and or moving. Yeah, you're on your north node. You're being very protected here. This is divine intervention. You have a great deal of faith. You are wish fulfillment. You're stepping into wish fulfillment. You have a great deal of faith. It's divinity as well. It's going to sound, people are going to look at this and go, how did this happen? They're going to know this was just too uncanny how it all fell into place. There is a higher, um, well, God does exist. People don't believe they're going to, yeah. Their wish fulfillment is, your wish fulfillment is coming in. Somebody's coming in and fast. But I think they, what they were trying to do is to keep you stag stagnant. Or they got caught up somehow. This could be the police coming in too. Somebody tried to sacrifice another. It's justice. Your, yeah, your prayers have been heard. Okay, your wishes are coming true. This is justice. This is karma. I told you, you're innocent. You're sweet and kind. You're going off into a new beginning. Something to do with your child or children. Um, somebody's going to be apologizing here. Um... You're going off into a new beginning, and they're trying to, to block this. Or this is a person that's immature. Um, thinking that an apology is going to cover it, but no. Okay? They're going to be in denial. I'm picking up heavy-duty narcissist vibes here. They could say, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry you thought that way. You know, it's an empty victory. They took on some losses here. Everybody involved is taking on losses. They're getting hit hard. And you're just sitting there, no hum, you know, minding your own business, starting something new, and they're all injured, not looking too happy. They put a, they put everything into this. It was more like a challenge after a while. I bet you they they got other practitioners and covens and sex and stuff like that to come after you for bragging rights, right? Because nobody could take you down. It's not about competition here. It's about your soul. You keep doing this, you have no more soul. Okay, you're gonna be de the the devil's bitch for the rest of your Eternity. This was jealousy, ego, pettiness, and cruelty. And now they're going towards poverty. They're out of lack and a loss. They followed another out into the cold. They were greedy, materialistic, a bully, a spendthrift, lazy, jealous, codependent, clingy. Oh, well. And they juggled you and your money. Made accusations about you that were unfounded. They didn't protect you, didn't stand up for you, defend you, your your honor and or your interests if this is the professionals handling your money. Yeah, they corrupt, abuse of power, abuse of authority, and uh, judgment went against them by the divine, by the courts, by the court of public opinion. This is harsh judgment. They judged you harshly on bullshit. Now they're going to be judged on the truth. There's no coming back. This is karma. Yep, they've been stopped in their tracks. It's not going anywhere. Out of control. Yep, you're speaking your truth. They're trying to stop you from speaking the truth. People are seeing it for what it is, okay? You're not mentally conflicted. They said you were mentally unstable. Let us handle their affairs. Let us handle their money. Could have had a car accident here. The truth. You spoke the truth. You could have said, listen, you keep this up, you're going to have an accident. Or, listen, this judge is going to have an accident. And they're going to have to replace this judge with another judge. And you're going down. Could be any of those things. Yeah, they're, They lost their position. Could be a, um, a higher level soulmate that got demoted. If not, somebody lost their position. They, get, they lost their job. They were putting on an act like pretending they're you. Trying to impersonate you. Um, they had hidden addictions. They were smug, full of themselves and selfish. I know it all in a show off. This is not wish fulfillment. This is a fall from grace. They're trying to run. They can't run. They can't escape this, okay? They're in trouble. They've been blocked. Sudden departure, sudden arrival. They cannot move forward. They were trying to block you from speaking the truth, block the truth from coming out. Now they're busy trying to block their spell work that's coming back on them. Mm. They were talking mad shit about you unwise counsel they're coming after your destiny this is change they were gold diggers and cloud chasers they wanted you to compete and fight with them right they were poking the bear they were playing mind games gaslighting you took the high road and you walked away now they're fighting finger pointing blaming one another they could have forced your signature uh, again an impersonation here you know taking credit for your work ideas um, achievements they were holding back 
there's a poser and a player. They wanted you to com uh, compete and fight for this player. There's a lot of people involved. So certain people stole your money. Certain people wanted you to fight and look crazy. Other people s cheated on you. And yeah, there's going to be a message here. They're holding back a message. Oh, they were trying to, in they interfered with your communication somehow. Somebody's angry that you're giving this message. People are receiving this message, what you're saying. They're angry. You're going off on, you took a leap of faith, okay? You're moving on. You're innocent. They cannot stop you. You're still moving forward, no matter what's going on back here. They wanted to be a hero, but they're being fed zero, okay? They feel like a fool now, yeah, because they gave out false information about you, and you're not coming back, okay? You're moving forward. This is a new beginning, and they're grieving and regretting. There's no reconciling this. Okay, because they were talking shit. They abused you. You healed your heart. Now you're speaking your truth. You set some boundaries and you cut them out. You're stable and secure. You could be speaking the truth to this family. This could be a lawyer. This could be a cop. It's property, f homes, family, a marriage of some sort. You're stable and secure. And this was all a scam. They were doing spell work. Okay. End of the road. Can't go any further. Bad investment. They could have taken this money and placed it in offshore accounts, living off the dividends and the interests they can't access. I know that some of their some people here, their their assets have been frozen. They can't go any further. They're losing money left, right, and center, and they might have to relocate if they stole a home. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, male or female, stable and secure. They know their value and their worth. They have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They didn't want people investing in you because they wanted you to not work, okay? So you would lose money by lying. So they lied about you, trying to peop get people not to invest in you, okay? Because they're not happy about you letting them go, having no problems, no restrictions, okay? Not being, you know, they didn't, they're no longer uh, renting space in your head. You're free to go, you know what I mean? You have new passion opportunities, new beginnings, you have growth and expansion in your world. And you're going to be taking action against your family. This is family discord. Are them stealing your money? Long-term stability. They wanted a life of luxury off your back. This was a crime. They wanted you to appear unstable. So they can, yeah, they're going to be arrested. And guess what? This is a celebration. This is victory, success, reward, recognition. People are all aware here. You're bringing awareness, illumination to this situation by being out in the public eye. People know that you're not crazy. People know that you're not um a drunk, a whore, a, a drug addict, you're not homeless, and they're under a great deal of pressure because they tried to take you out and they can't. This is a permanent, profound ending for them, death in reverse. They can't overcome, they can't kill you because you are an earth angel. You're highly protected here. And this was a backfire. So where do you think that's going to go? All those death spells onto this cult, onto these covens, onto the secret society, okay? They were spreading a lot of egregious gossip and it's all coming back on them. Oh, well. You're healthy. I mean, four swords beneath that. You're quite healthy, quite at peace. You're not going through any hard times. They are, though. They're being haunted. So mental conflict back in their backyard here. You're not mentally conflicted. They were doing some spell work against you. The truth's coming out. They talk shit about you. You used, You got a lot of wisdom here. This is a higher powers involved. Somebody finds you very, very wise. Of course. You learned a lot of lessons in life. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with a family or something. Uh, dealing with institutions, courts, and or contracts. Commitment of some sort. This is the divine stepping in. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody's on the run, possibly. They want you. I don't know what this is. Somebody's on the run. They wanted to cause a lot of conflict in your world, but it's in theirs. Differences, disputation, and quarrel. They want you to fight with them. They want you to compete for them. This is a runner chaser thing. It's a narcissist. Now they want to apologize, guilt, confession, forgiveness, because they know they have no alternative. Okay? Poser and doppelganger wanted to be you, a divine feminine energy, male or female. But you're highly protected. Okay? They want your protection. Oh, that's why they're coming back to apologize. After all this conflict they sent your way, way all, after all they said and did, now they want to come back into your energy because they want your protection. They know that you have heavy duty protection. Wow. Really? Really? You don't think this is going to be spotted here? Where are we ending this, please, Spirit? What's the final verdict on this one?
You can send you're crazy. You're not crazy. You're not mentally conflicted. And people see that for what it is. Two, two of swords in reverse. High priestess of earth. You're down to earth. Okay. Very um, grounded. Abundant. Hardworking. Independent. Generous. A healer, you know. You put the work in. You make it look good. You're, you're working on your pentacles. Divine Feminine Energy 3, okay? A reminder, lest we forget, 28. So you're going, I don't know, somebody was a gold digger and a cloud chaser. They want to come back in, but you're going to be reminded exactly what they've done. I think they tried to wipe away your memory or something as to what they, how they treated you. Now you remember, <laughs> you remember everything. You're moving on to your destiny and they're going to, towards their, um, their karma. Oath, 49. They made an oath to, to, to unalive you, 13. This is change. This is ending of a situation. They could have made an oath to old stinky, but you definitely surrendered. You submitted to God. Oh, I promise I'll pay you back. Just don't tell the cops. Yeah, strength. You're too strong. They wanted to have power and control over you. That's what it is. And it's, again, it's a family. They have an oath to, to do this. Keep it secret. It won't be... Rich. We'll be so rich, like bandits. Yeah, fulfillment. They're under divine judgment. Damn. A decision's been made. They know they have to take accountability here. This is blood magic, okay? They got tempted. There you go. Tempted to do this magic. A lot of lies and illusions. By the light of the silvery moon. Higher powers involved. They're trying to affect your beauty. Nah. Okay. Success. Congratulations. They tried to, they're going to be arrested. You let them go. You brought illumination to this situation. You're not wasting time with these people anymore. They're going to be arrested, okay? Somebody thought, bargained on their looks or something like that? Or they based um, you being a whore or a bad, I don't know, um, self-serving because you're, you're good, you're nice to look at? I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. Wh whoever this is is not thinking. They want to compete with you. I think what it is is they find you beautiful and or handsome. And they figure that if they could just get you in your partners in bed and take away from you, that they'll have one up on you because they're not so very, yeah, look, it's deceit. Well, they're getting some justice. You're getting your justice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Three high priestess of earth. My vampire high priestess of earth symbolizes all things in the physical world, your body, the body of earth, and the things you surround yourself with, and that's all they're interested in, not their soul. Now's the time to eat well, get rest, and connect to the power of earth by walking barefoot. Be mindful knowing you are a child of flesh and bone who came alive through the blending of earth magic and your spirit. If your question is about a situation with a friend or a love interest, know that the high priestess of earth is asking you to wait until you see tangible evidence of what you seek to understand about this relationship. Perhaps a first kiss or some shared activity will give you more insight into your question. Stay grounded and wait and see. Reminder. When I provide you with a familiar situation, will you follow the same path blindly or choose another direction? So if you let this person back into your life, into your energy, you forget, you know, we forget, but we don't forget. Um, they're just going to do it again. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you let this person in your energy, they're just going to try to use you up. Still going to do, do shit behind doors, closed doors. You know what I'm saying? It's a coward. Just remember that, okay? When you draw the symbol of a reminder, you're being asked to remember all you have learned about life and love up, up until now. Don't forget what you know already, as it isn't necessary to learn the same thing twice. I agree. Then again, how else do you learn? Keep the faith and be good to yourself. You can always start again if you make a mistake. If you, if you stumble, I will surely catch you. Remember what you know. So you're dealing with narcs, family, friend, love, exes, uh, co-workers. You know how they are. Yeah, they'll say anything to get into you, get what they want, and then it's gone, right? Then you're the asshole. You're this. You're that. Then they're doing magic on you. They're sleeping around. You know what I mean? Just never forget, lest we forget, right? 49 oath. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps this time you look at how you've made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? I think so. Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Oh, yes. 
Let the person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make to your, is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. That is the golden rule, okay? To belong to me, you must keep that promise. And they didn't keep it. It is what it is. Okay. How do you want to answer this? Okay, we'll get the stars on it. And on a high note. What's the end result for this place, Spirit, before we tie this one up? The moon. Take time to reflect. I think you have. New beginnings from chaos comes calm. Congratulations. I know. You're stepping into a new world now, okay? A brand new world. Unleash. Hold nothing back. Expand into the universe. It's time to speak your truth. No matter how it looks, how, how it sounds, it doesn't matter. It's your truth. I did a bit of it last night. So go ahead and do so, okay? You have the right light. Without the dark, we'd never see the stars. Full moon. Protect your energy and hold your stars closed. Congratulations. You're being inspired and you're an inspiration. There's a fire inside you burning brighter than the sun. I agree. Reevaluate. In the starlit sky, we, we still look for the falling stars. Na na. In the dark. So somebody's coming towards you from the dark. They don't have altruistic motives towards you. They want they want. They want to protect themselves. They want to take. Your, inher your inheritance, whether it's spiritual, 3D, or both, is coming in. They know this. They want to make a, a splash into your life and promise you everything. But they're still full of, sh full of shit, okay? They're still stuck in their muck. Leave them there. Pigs like to wallow in, in mud. Leave them there for being greedy, piggish, rolling around with the, you know, the pigs in the mud. Leave them there, okay? That's where Jesus casted the demons to stay. Let them stay there, okay? You're not a host. You're not going to entertain them anymore. I hope you like to read, everyone. Until next time, take care.